Hi everyone, welcome in to Case in Point True Crime, formerly Crime Time Buzz. I'm Jay, and this is number seven in the video series, going back to the beginning and pulling the facts out of Summer's case. For those of us who have been involved for many, many, many months and have heard a lot of mistruths, seen a lot of smoke and mirrors, we're focusing on the facts and also for those who are interested in Summer's story and would like to know where to begin. You can begin with the video series. Number one talked about the fact that right off the bat, the parents of Summer Moon Utah Wells submitted a photo that did not resemble Summer at all and her shaved head and thin pale face. The second video describes TBI claiming, stating that Summer went missing was last seen in the early afternoon of June 15, 2021, even though her mother or father did not report her missing until around 6.30 p.m. The third video is about the Amber Alert criteria in Tennessee and how Summer managed to get an Amber Alert without a vehicle or a suspect description. It's all in the way TBI wrote their Amber Alert cr criteria and all states should follow suit in my opinion. Number four, when I came to the TBI newsroom to initially do this video for you, I found that they had linked Summer's name to a trafficking study from 2011 that they had done with Vanderbilt University. And number five, the video was discussing the Dr. Phil interview and the Cornbread Mafia and Candace Bly's reactions to the Cornbread Mafia. Six was the FBI and what they think about alibis and creating an alibi before a crime is determined or exposed. And today is number seven, where we are doing summer search, TBI answering questions. And after this video, the next one's coming up, we'll start exploring our theories on what happened to summer that we shared in the poll that we took. So, Let's begin with TBI's questions and answers that they submitted in their newsroom for people following the case in media because these were frequently asked questions. Number one, when was Summer last seen? Her mother reports last seeing her on the afternoon of June 15th. Now, they said early afternoon in their presser and we found the definition of early afternoon being 1 to 3 p.m. She was last seen at their home in the 100 block of Ben Hill Road. In order to preserve the integrity of the investigation, we will not provide additional information regarding the timeline. So they know she went missing in early afternoon, and they know she was reported missing at 6.30 p.m. But this answer tells me they know more than that because they will not be providing additional information regarding the timeline in order to preserve the integrity of the investigation. Number two, have you searched the home and property around the residence? Yes, more than once, including the basement, crawl space, all vehicles, outbuildings, barrels, and other items located on the property. I want to know if they searched the septic because that's where Don's sister Mary said Don told his father he was worried Candace put her there. Additionally, canine teams specializing in a variety of search methods have also been utilized. Have you searched the phones and computers belonging to the Wells family? Yes. Uh, working alongside the Hawkins County Sheriff's Office and the FBI, remember this is TBI speaking, numerous subpoenas and search warrants have been obtained, resulting in any available digital evidence being collected, searched, and documented. This includes social media accounts. Well, we do know phones were not confiscated immediately. We know that um, that did not happen. We also know that they do use burner phones. And another thing is I would like to know is did they have the cell towers pinged? Have you searched the flower bed? Okay, number one, it's not a flower. Oh, here they answered that. This is funny. There was not a flower bed. <laughs> Summer's mother and grandmother stated that she was planting flowers with them shortly before she was last seen. The flowers were planted in pots, and yes, the pots were examined. How thoroughly were the pots examined? Because when we've seen them on photos, like from Chris McDonough from the interview room, her little toys were still in those pots. So they weren't dug up. They Were they not dug up? Were they just looked at? How was that examined? What do you think, guys? 
because we saw it intact with her little toy there. And Candace even made the statement, I'm not moving that toy, nor has it been moved. <clears throat> Have you searched waterways in the area? Yes. Dive teams were brought into the search to search the bodies of water in the area. But we also know there's many ponds and creeks in the acreage all around Beach Creek that are just everywhere. Have you conducted aerial searches? Yes. Numerous searches from the air have been completed, especially during the first few weeks after summer went missing. Additionally, drones were used to map the area and to pinpoint bodies of the water, bodies of water, as well as any other points of interest. Will additional searches be conducted? Now, this um, question and answer was put up in November. And after November, they did two searches, one in December and one in March. Investigators will continue to search points of interest as they are developed as well as follow up on all tips regarding Summer's whereabouts. Have you collected and reviewed video surveillance? Yes, we've co collected surveillance photos and videos from a variety of locations. Additionally, the entire area was canvassed in an effort to locate any residential cameras that weren't voluntarily reported. Please keep in mind that the Beach Creek area of Hawkins County is very rural with few businesses and no traffic cameras. Have you questioned the parents? Yes, both have been questioned. Have you questioned the neighbors and searched their properties? Yes. Well, I know they also ask people to search their own. Have you questioned registered offenders in the area? Sex offenders in the area? Yes. Is there any evidence that Summer was abducted? None that we've developed at this stage. And they also had the card team out there too. The, is the FBI involved? Yes, they've been involved since the Amber Alert was issued. Additionally, in the first week, the FBI card team, Child Abduction Rapid Deployment Team, responded to the area. FBI agents continue to assist with the investigation. And the last question was, why did you release information about a Toyota truck? Here is TBI's answer. An individual who travels through the area regularly as part of his job stated that he recalls possibly seeing a 1998 to 2000 maroon or red Toyota Tacoma with a full bed ladder rack and white buckets in the truck bed. The individual stated that the truck might have been parked in the area of Beach Creek Road and Ben Hill Road in the late afternoon to early evening on either Monday, June 14th or Tuesday, June 15th. The vehicle was not captured on surveillance cameras. There is a neighbor apparently across the street who has a camera. In an effort to cover all bases and identify the driver, the TBI, in agreement with Hawkins County Sheriff's Office and the FBI, released the vehicle description. Our hope was that the individual might have the information that could help the investigation. The driver has not come forward and still to this date has not come forward that we have been informed, nor have the hundreds of vehicles reported to us as matching the description panned out. So my friends, those are facts from Summer's case from TBI. Now, the one thing that I'm disappointed about, and I mentioned in a video last week or the week before, in the Amber Alert criteria, one requirement is they are to be giving regular updates to keep Summer's story out there. And they simply, like I said in that last video, Amber Alert, have not been. It has been three months, March, since their last update. TBI, please update us. But these are questions with actual facts from TBI and their answers. So friends, thank you so much for listening. Prayers up for Summer. The year mark is rapidly approaching in a in 13 days and let's pray that there's justice and summer is found please smash that subscribe button and become a part of the community and hit that notification bell so i can see you on the next case blessings and talk soon